Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing everything we know about the amethyst structure that is coming in the 1.17 Caves and Clips update. I hope you enjoy the video and find it very helpful and informative. Where do we find the amethyst structures? Well, thanks to snapshot 20w45a, we know that the amethyst geode structures will generate at any level underground in the overworld. They are also fairly rare and will be hard to come across. We also now know that they have an outer layer known as tuff, which is a new block surrounding the geodes. We also know the geodes will have a secondary layer of another new block known as calcite. We will talk about them more later on. What do we find in amethyst structures? Well, in these structures, we will find amethyst clusters, which will go off any side of the new block budding amethyst which is a slightly different texture to the block of amethyst. We then mine the clusters to get amethyst shards. Amethyst grows in four different stages and gives off a light source in its later growth stages. So we have small amethyst bud, medium amethyst bud, large amethyst bud, and the final stage of the growth is the amethyst cluster, which when mined will give you four amethyst shards, but can give you more when using the fortune enchantment. Fortune 3 will give you a maximum of 12 shards. You will also be able to silk touch amethyst clusters, but will not be able to silk touch amethyst buds. You will be able to mine the block of amethyst, however you will not be able to obtain budding amethyst, similar to a spawner. So that means not even a silk touch pick can be used to require this block. This will force you to make amethyst shard farms all over your world as you will not be able to simply bring back the required blocks to your base to farm them. There are two new blocks joining the amethyst structures known as calcite and tuff, which we see in Minecraft Live's footage and the recent 1.17 snapshot. Calcite will be similar to diorite but with a far smoother texture and will be found underground surrounding the amethyst geode as a secondary layer. Tuff will be the outer layer of the amethyst geode and looks similar to stone, but has a far darker and worn texture. These two blocks have no purpose at the moment except for being a decoration block. How to craft amethyst related items. Well also thanks to snapshot 20w45a, we find out that amethyst shards will be used to craft the spyglass, which we got a sneak peek of in Minecraft Live. It's basically a long distance tool used to zoom in and out to get a view of things from a long range. To craft the spyglass, you will need two ingots of copper and one amethyst shard. The new tinted glass can also be crafted using amethyst shards. You will need four shards and you will need to surround a glass block in the crafting table to require tinted glass. Tinted glass is a type of glass that does not allow light to pass through it. You can also craft amethyst blocks by placing four amethyst shards in a crafting bench. Amethyst Shard Sounds When entering an amethyst geode structure, you will notice a glassy and crystal sound deflecting off the shards. This sound will only ever occur whenever you walk on them, break them, place them, or hit them with a projectile. I really do hope you enjoyed that video and it was rather helpful. Remember, if you want to see more videos just like this one, remember to like and subscribe as I will continue to keep you up to date with 1.17 news. I hope you have a wonderful day and you like the video and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.